It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here it is Tuesday. Got Monday behind us. That's a great start already. But as I understand, John, we talk about this all the time. Memories that both bless and burn. You had to, got a chance to say goodbye to somebody yesterday, and that's both a blessing and uh, a memory that kind of burns all at the same time. Yeah, we laid uh, laid our friend Jeanette Ponder, Jeanette Phillips Ponder from Chittister. Uh, she passed away last week. Uh, had her funeral yesterday morning at the uh, Baptist Church in Chittister, Brother David Collins. And uh, Jeanette showed up in Chittister in 1975 from California. That's back when we had a, uh, still had a big sawmill in Chittister. And her parents had divorced. I believe they lived in San Diego. I'm not sure. Uh, her and her two brothers and her mother. And from what I understand, they basically... Uh, put a map on the wall and threw a dart at it. Oh, wow. And and I, you know, her her they ended up and her mother found a place at White Oak Lake, and uh, she became the office manager and the bookkeeper, and uh, at the Chittister Lumber Company when we still had a sawmill there in Chittister. Wow. And uh, 1975, they came to school at Chittister, and none of us had ever met anybody from California. That was a big deal. And Jeanette was a year older than me, and uh, I was in the. Uh, I was in the uh, ninth grade. She was in the tenth, end of the school year, and uh, we became friends immediately. And uh, we uh, we we remained close all these years. Uh, she uh, we had a lot of you know we were teenagers in the seventies, you know, and we watched Saturday Night Live and we watched American Bandstand and and you know we listened to disco music, you know, when everybody else claimed they wasn't listening to it. And we rode around in the middle of the night and drank wine and, and, and you know, went skinny dipping and everything else you can think of that kids did back in them days. I don't know if they still do that or not. but uh, We became very close, and uh, it's pretty much like I put on Facebook. You know, over the years, we, we uh, questioned each other's relationships, and we, you know, argued on who was right and who was wrong and those kind of things, but we remained very close. Uh, she was very instrumental in coming to uh, to visit with Denise when she was sick and was real good about that. And, uh, you know, if we'd have had the crawfish boil this year, that was who we were going to give the, the proceeds to. Gotcha. And, you know, I promised her. It broke my heart to not be able to do that. And I had promised her that, uh, you know, we would have a fish fry this fall and we would get her all the money we could, we could stand to pack in her, her pockets, you know. But she uh, she had cancer and she only she was doing good. She only had about two more treatments to go, and uh, she just uh, gave out last week. And uh, you know we we were we were children of the seventies. And uh, <clears throat> to those of you that are listening that don't know what that means, well, I feel sorry for you. Oh yeah, you know I mean I was a child of the seventies, sorta born in seventy two, but that means I really didn't start living until the eighties. But we. Uh, 70s looked a whole lot more fun. We spent a lot of late nights, you know, on the phone, uh, telling each other secrets, you know, that I kind of hope that we kept most of those secrets, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> but we, uh, you know, we we consoled each other when uh, relationships failed, and we we were there to hug each other when our parents died and, and things like that, you know, and we, uh, we lost friends. Uh, my high school sweetheart, Cindy Lambert, was her best friend, <clears throat> and we, uh, you know, we consoled each other when Cindy passed away a few years ago. But, uh, I, you know, I was 15 when I met her, and but I, I like to say she was a lifelong friend because I don't, I, you know, I mean, she was there most of my life, and uh, she's got two brothers, Ron and, and Richard, and uh, she's got two kids, uh, Tim Ponder and Katie. Uh, her, her daughter Katie's married to a, a pastor. They live at Atkins. Uh, but we're going to miss her. Uh, I will remember her the rest of my life because, like I said, we were we were children of the 70s. We were in high school together, 
and uh, the seventies was a a a uh, segment of, of of history all to its own. And I'm I'm proud that I shared most of it with her, and I'm going to miss her and just want to. Uh, Say Godspeed, sweetheart, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Absolutely. Hey, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John for today. But we want to remind everybody, Prescott Raceway got some big races going on this Saturday, May 28th. Gates open at noon. Time trials start at 2. $20 for sports. Uh, spectators the concession stand will be open they got a super pro division going a uh, no electronics division a sportsman's division a junior dragster it's all going to be all kinds of fun if you need even more information go check them out on facebook you can go check out their uh, website at, as well prescottraceway.net or give them a call at the track 870-887-3984 and you got ProMed Ambulance. Give those good folks a call. 1-800-634-0436 and get signed up. Last but certainly not least, not going to forget about one of our longest sponsors in Sherwin-Williams House Paint, 315 Jefferson Street right here in Camden. Give Greg Bradshaw and his staff a call at 836 836- 8125. They can point you in the right direction with most home projects they got going on, especially if they involve paint. Absolutely. We'll see you tomorrow, Josh. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.